Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a products I've used up video, empties video, what I repurchase video, mini reviews, you know the drill. So yeah, that's what this video is about. I have been collecting trash in my bathroom for a long time. I rarely do these videos because I use something up and then I throw it away. And I only remember to keep things sometimes. <laughs> I swear I don't go through interesting things, but whatevs. I I decided to include these because I mean I get a lot of questions of it on it. I get a lot of questions on it. I'm drinking coffee right now, and I swear my mind is going a million miles an hour. This is the Joyco Vero K Pack color. This is what I use to dye my hair. This is all I use. I have mine in the shade 8N Medium Blonde. I love Joyco K-Pack color. It's what I use all the time. But yeah, this is what I use to dye my roots. I have like an ombre thing going on, but that's just because my hair used to be bleached blonde towards the end, so anything that's faded from that has like this lighter color. But yeah. I finished about a million of these simple cleansing facial wipes. These are my favorite facial wipes in the history of the world. I've done a lot, a lot of research. I used to love the Burt's Bees ones until I found these. They're really, really good for sensitive skin. And I also finished up these, which are like knockoff versions. This is like the Target knockoff version of those simple wipes, and this is like the CVS knockoff version. I kind of like these more. I don't know. They're all, they're all really good. They're very similar, but I do like the simple ones more. I go through about a million of these in a month. This is the Batiste dry shampoo. I get mine at TJ Maxx for $5.99. Sometimes the things that they sell at TJ Maxx are a little bit questionable, but I mean dry shampoo is dry shampoo, so I get it there. And Ulta is like so far away from me. It's not far away, but I have to drive like 28 minutes to get there. And I hate driving. I finally finished up this Healthy Sexy Hair Color Safe Soy Moisturizing Shampoo. Soy, cocoa, and argan oil. I hated this. I hated this. And I don't know why. I loved the conditioner. I finished up the conditioner a lot faster. It was probably in a previous empties video. But this smelled like chemicals, which is really strange because it's like... Sec well, it doesn't smell like chemicals. I just didn't like the scent at all for some reason. It doesn't smell like the... It doesn't smell like their soy argan products. The conditioner does, and their leave-in treatment smells amazing, but this didn't, and I found that it didn't really clean my hair all that well. I don't know, and it wasn't very moisturizing either, so I will not repurchase this. I finished up three Bath & Body Works candles. This is Marshmallow Fireside. I actually have one. Oh, I haven't turned it on. Much better. So yeah, I finished up the Marshmallow Fireside. I am a disaster. I feel like every time I see candles in people's empties videos, they don't look this destroyed. But anyway, this is like the best winter scent ever. It's like woodsy but marshmallowy at the same time. It's really good. I love it. And I really, really hate that it gets like down to right here and then you can't burn it anymore. Do you guys know, question of the day, do you guys know how I could like, I mean I know I could take these out, I know how to take the wax out, because I'm going to use these as uh, brush holders, but do you guys know how I could take the wax out and then continue to burn it? Please teach me your ways, I know I have some wizards down there, let me know. Anyway, so I finished up that one, it's so good, it's so good. I finished up the leaves candle, this is probably the best, <laughs> this is probably the, it looks like a little paw print. No, it doesn't. Okay. This is probably the best fall scent in the history of the world. It just smells like the woods and like beautiful different colored leaves and cinnamon. I, I finished up Vanilla Snowflake. The only reason I own this candle is because Danny really liked it and he really wanted me to buy it, but I am not into vanilla candles like this. But surprisingly enough, it gave like a nice warm, like cozy feeling to my house when I was burning it. And I found myself burning it a lot, obviously. I mean, I wouldn't, I would repurchase those two over this one, but I would, I would repurchase this. It gave like a nice, like the weather outside is frightful kind of feeling to my house. I went through this When by Chaz Dean Sweet Almond Mint Cleansing Conditioner. Um, I love this. Danny's grandma gave this to me. Um, I really love it and I will repurchase. I just have to find it. I really love it because it gives my scalp like a tingling minty, minty sensation and I really liked it and I feel like it moisturized and cleansed at the same time. I don't know. I think it's a really good a really good product and I will repurchase eventually. I just have so many shampoos and conditioners sitting in my shower. 
holy grail status right here. This is the priority made simple by philosophy one step facial cleanser this is the only cleanser i use online i use a couple other ones but this one is the best this is the one i use every night before i go to bed to take off my makeup and to clean my face it's t it takes off everything i went through the saint maurice saint maurice yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Instant self tanning mousse in dark. I get mine off Amazon. It's like $7, really inexpensive. Comparable to the Saint Tropez, I think. I don't own Saint Tropez, I've never used it. But I really like it. I'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to my favorite self tanners. Good stuff. So I love these Nivea body washes. They are like my favorite body washes from the drugstore. The Touch of Sparkle one is really good. Moisturizes and illuminates diamond powder white calla blossom scent sure and then this one freshens and invigorates orange blossom scent and Bamboo essence. This is touch of happiness. I bought this to see if uh, the body wash can make me happier and it Doesn't change my mood at all This is a perfume I got in Miami when I was down there when Danny was on deployment it's called Sweet Candy for Women. This is a knockoff of Pink Sugar, which is one of my favorite perfumes. And it smells identical to Pink Sugar. Should be illegal how identical it smells. But this lasts maybe mm, 15 minutes on the skin. It was $3, this bottle. <gasps> I got it at like some weird thrift store or something. I don't know what. It was so cheap. I just really wanted to try it since it smelled so much like it. But it lasts like five minutes and I would not repurchase that again. It's so weird. It's just weird. I went through this John Masters Organics Honey and Hibiscus Hair Reconstructor. It's like a leave-in conditioner or like a mask, a hair mask. It did nothing for my hair. I mean, it, it was basically just like a soft conditioner. Nothing very hair masky about it. So, I mean. I went through another one of these um, L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balms. This is only $5 and it's a really good hair mask. I mean, it does the job. It's really, really good. It makes my hair so incredibly soft, like very, very soft. I highly recommend it. Let's talk mascaras because I have about a million mascaras in here. Litter. Oh my god, I, I'm sorry. Is this way too many? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go through them quickly. I finished a Jordana Best Lash Extreme 2, actually. This is like holy grail status. Probably one of the best mascaras at the drugstore, and it's only $3. Very volumizing. I finished a L'Oreal Voluminous Carmen Black. Carbon Black, another really good volumizing mascara. Good stuff. I would repurchase that one. This is the Maybelline Maybelline's Illegal Length Mascara. Really, really good for lengthening. I actually liked it a lot. It has like those fibers in it. Um, one of the very few mascaras that lengthens that I actually like, so I would repurchase that. I just have so many mascaras right now that I honestly can't. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. This sucked. This did absolutely nothing for my eyelashes. I only used it like literally a couple times and hated it, so I'm just getting rid of it. It sucks. It's terrible. Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. This was sent to me from a by a subscriber and it was really good. It does a really good job of lengthening. It's that perfect mascara for like a day to day, like when I'm not filming, I'm just gonna go somewhere and I pop that on. Finished a little travel size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, my second favorite, tie, actually it's tied for first for the best high end mascara I have ever used. The best. It's amazing. So good. This is the Buxom Lash Mascara in Black is Black and didn't, didn't care for this. I don't like it, so no. The Elizabeth Mott It's So Big Mascara. This is so good. I have two little travel size. I bought two full sizes after using these. It's one of the best mascaras I've ever used in my entire life. I get Elizabeth Mott at ElizabethMott.com. It's so good. Wow, it's so good. Oh my god, I have so many mascaras. Oh, why? I have a lot. It's just I have a lot of traveling ones. This is the benefits. They're real. Hated this. This is like a cult favorite on YouTube, but it took about six months to take this off of my eyelashes. And I know about that life. I don't do that. I don't like it. <laughs> don't like that mascara at all. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Lash, and it was all right. It's nothing out of this world. I probably will not buy the full size. It's expensive and it wasn't like a miracle worker or anything. This is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I've already repurchased this. It's my holy grail bottom lash mascara. It makes them like very volumizing and amazing and it's only $10. I highly recommend it. It doesn't smudge. It's the best. It does not budge. It's the best. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and while I really enjoyed it while I used it, I don't know if I would 
by the full size just because I have a couple other high-end mascaras that I like more than this. But it did volumize really well. Oh my god, two more, two more. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. This used to be my holy grail mascara back in the Dizzle because it, it, it had different packaging and different formula. It was a lot, the bottle was a lot skinnier, the tube, and I just feel like they changed the formula when they changed the packaging. It was garbage. This did nothing. This is garbage. And I loved this mascara back in the day. It was so good. And then this is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. I love this. I will definitely repurchase this once I've gone through a couple more mascaras. This mascara was so good to me. So good to me. Probably one of my favorite Maybelline mascaras. It's so nice. I love it so much. Wow, that was a lot of mascara. Oh my god, I'm sorry. So I went through another one of these St. Ives Blemish Control Green Tea Scrubs. This is my holy grail scrub for my face. My favorite exfoliator of all time and it's only like $5. Um, the green tea like really calms my redness and it has salicylic acid so I swear it improves my skin. It helps with breakouts. Holy grail. Holy grail. I went through a little tub of this Carol's Daughter Manoy Repairing Hair Mask. If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, no hair mask in the history of the world has ever made my hair this soft. It's amazing. It does have silicone in it, so I only use it when I know I'm going to iron my hair because silicone kind of weighs down my curly hair. But this made my hair softer than any mask I've ever used in my entire life, and I've tried a lot of them. That's the best hair mask ever. I just wanted to show you guys, oh my god, this video is so long. I just wanted to show you this really quick. This is the Glam Glow Bright Mud Eye Treatment. I got a sample. This thing burned the crap out of my under eyes, and I would not recommend that. Holy crap, that was painful. I went through the, El I know I'm going really fast, but I feel like this video is going to be so long, so let me try to relax. This is the e.l.f. I that was the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer, and I really, really like it. It's just their basic $1 primer, and I feel like it's a lot better than a lot of other drugstore primers, and that one is really cheap. I've gone through multiple of these. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Brunette. Now it's Brunette slash Dark Brown, I think. These still say brunette on them, but the one I own now is like Dark Brown slash Brunette. I don't know. These are my favorite Holy Grail Brow Wizzes. I love them. Anastasia, you rock my socks. I want to show you nail polishes that are literally, I gotta throw them away because they've, I've used them so much. And I have a lot of nail polishes and I rarely go through, like I rarely beat a bottle to death to where I need to throw it out. And that's the case for these two. This is the Sally Hansen Salon Manicure. I love these kind of polishes, the, one that come, the ones that come in this bottle. This is without a stitch. I have used the crap out of this. Um, it was my favorite nude nail polish of all time like OPI, SE, any of those, this is the best nude I've ever used and it never chipped. I swear, I had to take it off before it chipped. It never chipped on me. It was so good. I'm gonna buy this. I need to look for it. I hope they still make this color because it's so good. And I don't like SE nail polishes because they chip within like 20 minutes on my nails. Like the formula, I hate them. But this is probably the one of my favorite nail polishes ever and it's SE. This is SE's Vandigo. This is like my go-to spring and summer color. I wore the heck out of this. This is the prettiest color in the world. I know when someone's wearing this. You know those colors that are so unique, even though it doesn't look unique, but if somebody has Vandigo on their nails, I'll know it's Vandigo. I am highly, highly in love with this color, and I need to look for it again because it's so pretty. I finished up this little Numi finishing serum. Kaka didn't do anything for me. Sorry, Numi. I went through another one of these fresh soy face cleansers. This is my Holy Grail morning face wash. Face wash, like the cucumber scent really wakes up my face, and it's perfect for sensitive skin, especially this time of the year because it doesn't dry out my face whatsoever. If you have sensitive skin, dry sensitive skin, or oily sensitive skin, I highly recommend this, it's amazing. I buy this one because it's $15, it's smaller, and I only use it in the morning. Okay, and then the last two products are both drugstore makeup products. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in Blackest Black. Um, I'm just gonna toss this because I've beat the crap out of this, and it's, it's dry already. It's the best gel eyeliner at the drugstore, in my opinion. It's my all-time favorite. I will definitely repurchase that. And then this is the Milani Eye Tech Perfection Liquid Liner. I don't typically look. Oh, okay. Let's try to put that back. 
I don't typically love like eyeliners like this. This one was really nice though. Like, I mean, I got a really thin line with it because it's so thin, but it dried up like in a minute. This is the liquid liner that I have used that has dried up the fastest out of all of them, so I will not buy this again. Okay guys, so that completes this video. I hope it wasn't too long and I know that I was talking really, really fast and it's something I need to work on. I talk so fast and I don't realize it until like I'm editing and I'm like, oh god. I know I was going really fast. I just didn't want this video to be 20 minutes long, but guess what? It is, isn't it? It's 20 minutes long, isn't it? It's more than 20 minutes, isn't it? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye! was a lot skinnier and I I wanted to include this because this I get a I guess I got but it but it was so cheap and the but it was so cheap but it oh sorry instructor what is happening is really good. It just says moisturizes. Ah, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, I almost broke my neck.